Hello gamers, welcome back to another Lost Ark video. It's been a little while since the last one, but we're back. Today we are going to talk about Transcendence. Now, this is something that a lot of people have been complaining about for a long time, and for a lot of good reasons. Uh, the biggest issue with Transcendence right now is the amount of time that it takes to do all of the different characters that you have, all of your alts, especially if you're doing all of it in one sitting or trying to do a ton of it, like after you get your first hard mode clear or next week when the update comes, uh, a whole bunch of extra transcendence is going to unlock on a whole bunch of new alts. And if you're anything like me, you're dreading the idea of spending all the time doing this transcendence. Now, if you've never used it before, there is a calculator that will help you get the uh, best odds the best chances of clearing your transcendence uh, for as little gold as possible. The downside of this calculator is that you now have to input all of the changes every single time you make a move. Uh, and it's just, even though it saves you gold, you end up spending a lot more time doing it. So now the calculator has a new update that will save you a ton of time. It's still not perfect, but once you get it all set up, it's actually a huge time saver. And, and hopefully they're still working on a couple of extra things here. Um, it's implemented right now. It just, it doesn't work perfectly. So anyway, let's just get into it. Okay, so obviously once you have your game launched, uh, the first thing you're gonna do is go to this website here. Uh, and I'll post a link to this in the description. This is the Transcendence Calculator website. If you've never used this before, it's maybe a little bit overwhelming at first, but it literally will tell you exactly what to do. If I'm doing Helmet Level 1 with Grace 0, my first attempt at Helmet 1, I'm going to put the cards in here that show up at the bottom of your screen the same way they do in-game, and then I'm going to click Calculate. And it's going to tell you the best move to make every single time. It'll actually, it's actually recently been updated to tell you the top two options uh, in case you don't like the highest probability chance to, to get the clear. If you don't like the best one, you can take the second best one. Once you do whatever it says, though, you have to then change all of the... Uh, so, like, if I shockwaved up here and it cleared out, let's say, these tiles... Uh, I used it. Now I have to update the card that comes in. I have to update whatever tile just showed up, whatever extra tile showed up. Uh, I have to... There's a lot of clicking. There's a lot of downtime in between. Now, this new tool is the capture tool. Most people I know haven't set it up yet. I set it up yesterday on stream. It took me a little while. It was a little confusing. The biggest issue is that if you're anything like me, you don't speak Korean or read it. So trying to set it up <laughs> could be difficult. Now, uh, I want to first of all give uh, a special thanks to the dev, the person who created this tool. This thing is huge. Massive gold save, uh, massive headache save, uh, and a huge thanks for like continuing to work on it and update it and everything like that. Uh, secondly, I want to thank the original person who translated the tool in this reddit post uh to actually allow someone who only speaks english to follow along and get it set up i'll link the reddit post as well so if you guys just want to follow the instructions here you can follow them this way um but i kind of struggled a little bit and i needed some help with people who had kind of already gone through it uh to get it all set up and have it make sense so the first thing you're gonna do on this website is click the capture button up here. Now, once you click this, uh, this window is going to show up and all of these buttons underneath are going to show up. Now, all of these buttons do different things. Um, we're going to start from left to right and just kind of go through it. So the first thing is uh, capturing your window. So the first button here uh, in the bottom left underneath this blank window is your game capture. So I'm going to go to window. I'm going to go to uh, my Lost Ark, and I'm going to click Share. Now you get this big yellow border around your game, uh, and you've got this thing down at the bottom here that says Sharing the Window, and that's how you know that it's working. And then when you tap back into the, when you tap back into the website, it will, sh it will show your game here in the background. All right, so now that the game is captured, the next thing you're going to do is click this third button here. This is the settings, the game capture settings. So... This is where things get a little bit complicated. 
So before I get into those settings, I'm actually just going to go and I'm going to start one of my uh, pieces of transcendence here. This is my Reaper that I've just been neglecting to transcend. She's been 1630 for like three weeks and I still haven't finished it. <laughs> All right. So uh, once my transcendence board is open, there's actually a couple things that will help. So I'm going to change this tile real quick because I want a blue one and I want a not like a level two and a level one. I want two options. I want one of each in my cards while I'm doing this setup. Uh, and you'll see why later. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the size of the board. So uh, it shows here, these are for levels one, two, three. These are for levels four and five. These are for levels six and seven. Um, and the six, seven, eight on the left here is just like the diameter of the board, right? So this is six across uh, both ways. So this is the six. So then I'm going to click this button and it's going to capture my screen for a second. It's going to take a little screenshot of what we're looking at. Now, uh, you'll see this grid and you'll see a whole bunch of things. This is where I would recommend, uh, if you have to set this up still, that you hold control and scroll wheel in to get a nice zoom in on what's going on here in the window. Uh, because you're going to have to kind of click some with with pretty pinpoint accuracy to place uh, where the screen is like scanning for whatever it's scanning for. Uh, now, the next thing that you're going to do once you're zoomed in and ready to go here, you'll notice there's these uh, blue squares around my cards. Uh, there's all these dots on the screen with different colors. We're going to move these dots around so that it captures what it's trying to capture properly. So uh, here, this little drop down menu underneath the blue the blue button, uh, this is where you choose the dots, the positions that you want to move around. So again, this is covered in the Reddit post here, um, and it'll translate every single one of these things. Now, this is translated. Some of it is written out wrong here, uh, but it kind of corrects itself in this screenshot. So we'll go through it real quick. Um, just from top to bottom. So from top to bottom in this drop down list, we're just, I'm just going to set everything up. I'm just going to redo it. Uh, so the first thing that you're setting up is the top left position of the grid. So I'm clicking on what would be, uh, the top left corner tile of the six by six here. Okay. And the second one is the top, right? So I'm clicking up here. I actually think that one that I clicked was the wrong spot is a little off. I'm going to reset. I'm going to uh, move it over a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Uh, then the third one is the bottom left. It's kind of awkward because that one's there. I'm actually going to move this one first. The bottom right. Nope, that's the wrong spot too. Uh, up here? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. I haven't moved bottom left yet. Okay. And now the grid is captured. Uh, you have to do this for each of them separately. So when you move on to level four or five and it's uh, seven tiles across, then you have to set up the seven tile one. Uh, and same thing with when you get to eight. Now, I've already set those up, so I don't have to do it. That's the only thing you have to set up more than once. Okay. The next section after the first four is the... Uh, let me just double check here. I think it's the top left. Yeah. It's the top left of your left card picture. Okay. So if I zoom in a little bit further here, because I want to make sure this is right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. The top left right here, this blue pin of the, just of the image, not of the entire card, just of the image on the inside of the card, okay? Top left. Then the next one is the bottom right of the right card. So this little notch down here. Now, depending on where you put those two, these three cards are gonna automatically line up. So if it doesn't line up properly, so for example, if I had the top left a little bit further over this way, you'll see all three of these grabs kind of shifted over. So you kind of just want to keep adjusting the top left and the bottom right. Uh, 
you know, shuffle it over to the left a little bit, shuffle it to the right, do whatever you got to do. I'm trying to like one pixel at a time, just shift this over until it seems like it's in the right spot again. Uh, one more. There we go. So now all of these cards look like they're within the window um, and we're good to move on. The next one here, again, I'm just, I'm just going to double check, uh, is, oh, sorry, the next two are going to be the top left and bottom right of the number of turns that you have left. So uh, here we're going to go top left of this seven. It's kind of already there. And then bottom right of the seven. Now this one you can kind of shuffle over a little bit further in the bottom right. It's weird because it goes into double digits sometimes, right? Like depending on which level you're doing, it'll go up to 11, 12, 13 tries or 13, 13 turns still. Um, and if you've made the box capture too small, then it'll only capture the first digit and it'll say you have one try left. I don't think it really matters. I haven't run into any problems with it yet, uh, but just to be safe, I'd make the box a little extra big. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so... We got seven and eight. Next, we got nine and 10, which is the top left and bottom right of the number of extra turns or the number of, sorry, uh, which is the top left and bottom right of the uh, change elementals that you have. These are the rerolls. Um, so yeah, down here, we'd go to uh, nine and 10, which is these two. And I just click top left. I mean, mine's already set up, but I'll just adjust it here. Top left and uh, bottom right of the number of rerolls that we have there. The last two here is where it's important that you have uh, two different color cards. So you have a level one card and a level two card. These last two are checking the color of the background or whatever pixel that you're tracking. So this red dot right here on the left one and this red dot right here on the right one. Uh, this one is the, it's, it's left first and then it's right after the left card and then the right card. Be careful when selecting the part of the card that you want to track here. I originally had it a little bit lower because I had a card that was like a really short name. And then when great explosion showed up, it actually was tracking the pixel that was the text. And so it was a lot lighter and it kind of just screw screwed things up. So just make sure that you get like a good spot that's not going to change when the text gets bigger or shorter. Okay, so once you have all that set up, the next thing you're gonna do is just scroll down to the next part. Uh, and these buttons here. So the, the top two buttons are tracking the top two buttons are for the left card the bottom two buttons are for the right card so whichever card is level one you're gonna click the one so my right card is level one i'm gonna click one there my left card is level two i'm gonna click two there and if you see on the left here it'll change the colors so it's tracking that the left card is blue ish and that the right card is black gray ish and this will update uh, if you change it. So then it tracks it down here again. Level one looks like this. Level two looks like this. There's no tracker for, for level three. I think it just knows for level three because the, uh, the image of the card actually changes. So once you have all that set up, the next thing you're gonna do is gonna go into the settings real quick and just set it up to look exactly like this. Uh, the one thing that it suggests that you do is that you turn off tile recognition. Now, I've had some people tell me that they were very careful setting up their, their tile, uh, these first four things here, um, to like track the, the tiles on the board. And I, I haven't had any success getting this to work, uh, but I've had s at least one person tell me that they got it to work perfectly. Um, so... Test it out if you want. If you can get these tiles to work, this becomes absolutely trivial and it'll, you'll save an infinite amount of time. Uh, if you can't get the tiles to work, then you can turn this, you can check this off um, so that it doesn't go for tile recognition. Um, it'll only track your cards, more or less. It's still a huge time save either way. Obviously, if you can get both to work, that's a complete game changer, but uh, even just tracking the cards is super helpful and will save you a lot of time, especially if you're going and doing a whole bunch of alts transcendence now or next week. Okay, so once all that is set up, uh, you're just gonna go and click this red button up here in the top left, and that's just saving all your settings. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is click this fourth button here. This fourth button, if you scroll up again, uh, it will show you exactly what it does. It's the card recognition, so it's basically just turning on the system. 
it's just going to make your, your card recognition start tracking. Uh, and then the last one is tile recognition. It doesn't work for me. Maybe you can get it to work. Let me know. So I'm going to click this button and it's going to change all of the cards down at the bottom on, on this screen to the cards that are active on my screen in game right now. See, it all matches up. We got the level two tidal wave. We got the great explosion. We got the purify earthquake thunder. It all matches up. So the next step is to just start doing your transcendence. Uh, what the one thing that's a little weird here that I've noticed is the, um, the turn tracker and the reroll tracker. If you happen to have already started a thing and then you turn it on, it doesn't really track properly. So you might have to, uh, change the numbers to match whatever is on your screen when you first start it up. But if you use this from the beginning of any level, um, it will, it will track properly. All right. So that's it. Now that everything's set up, you can just go and do your transcendence. Uh, you still have to actively change the tiles on the board, uh, as they, as you go through it and do it. Um, you still have to update for any new tiles, any of the special tiles that show up. Uh, you still have to fix the distorted tiles when you get to a high level grace on, on levels that have distorted tiles. Uh, it's not perfect, but if you're doing a lot of transcendence, this will save you a lot of time once you get it set up. But yeah, anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, I know a lot of people were struggling following along yesterday when I was trying to do it on stream. Um, if you have any questions or any of this didn't make sense, don't hesitate to ask. I will do my best to, to, try, to try and help in any way that I can. Okay, there's one last thing I forgot to mention, and that is that you only ever have to set this up once. The website itself uses cookies to track all of your settings and everything that you've set up. So assuming that you don't like erase all of your cookies every time you close Chrome or whatever browser that you use, or you're not playing on multiple different PCs all the time or whatever, uh, you only ever have to, have to set this up once. You saw earlier uh, when I went into the different uh, when I went into the different size boards it was already saved. It was already tracked on my screen. I just turned my PC on for the first time today. You only have to ever have to set this up once. Uh, it's a huge time save. Once you do it, I promise you it's worth it. Um, yeah. All right, guys, that's it. I really hope this helps. Let me know how things go for you and I will see you in the next one.